Yoski. So yeah, I got myself a sewing machine and I've made a thing. But before we get to that, apologies for the shaky left-handed cam. Well, this video features my main tripod and why will be clear very soon. I'll probably need to make a separate take because I'm gonna need two hands for this one. But anyways, let's get to sewing. Uh, so this is a test piece with my first successful straight stitch. No, the least fancy of them all. And here in the corner, it's I believe my second attempt at failing at producing a stitch. Because, you know, this thing is a, a great example of the fact that you don't know until you know. And before this thing, well, before this machine, I've only touched one that my grandma had. I think it was a machine from the 1950s, which got its first electric motor, probably when it was older than I am now. So, you know, perspective-wise, yeah, I kind of know, like everybody else, how a sewing machine looks like, how to actually use one. Well, that's a whole separate world. And, uh, yeah, so, context-wise, this was the second piece with, you know, just trying the bazillion stitches you can actually now dial in on the machine itself, you know, like quickly make the pocket, you know, nothing measured, just, you know, just mostly having fun with the machine itself, which actually is pretty nice to use. I would say it's like my scroll saw, and that's kind of an understanding I've got that, that sewing is like soldering, it's a last uh, part of a process, which is kind of like the least interesting one, but again, like soldering, sewing is a skill, which I do not have, and I will need, you know, a lot more than 15 minutes or, I don't know, half an hour spent actually using it to actually get any good. So, yeah, a lot of fun ahead. But, okay, tests aside, uh, the question is why. So, it's electronics. This is a power bank, power brick. It has a display here, which shows you the percentage left. And, yeah, hell, hello there. Mm, so... The main issue with those sort of things is that, as you can see, it's just a brick. It doesn't feature any sort of a mounting solution. And that bothers me because it limits the utility of the thing. So, you know, my idea was, well, why not make a pouch for it? And this is my first version zero attempt. And, uh, yeah, one-handed. Mm -hmm. This is awful, but in any case, I will manage, and you will see. Mm? And it has an eyelet here. And you know, don't worry about the crappiness of manufacture, <laughs> that was to be expected. The point is that, the general idea is that, now you can hang it, and uh, a bit of a spoiler, on a tripod, on a carabine, carabiner thing here. But yeah, you know, first attempt. As crappy as it is, proof of concept, it's an important, you know, do, do the stuff step by step. I actually sat down yesterday, or was it today? In any case, not long ago, and made the second version. Ta-da! Look at it. It's not pretty, but it's a lot more useful than the previous one. And yeah, I mean... The main thing is that this actually fits in, in snugly and you can still see the display one it's a, while, once it's in, apologies. Uh, in any case, this is uh, two sheets of uh, cotton, a rather thinner one, a black one on the outside and one, one white one on the inside. And yeah, I've spent a lot of like brain power of actually trying to understand how do you make such things because you need to flip them multiple times and you know things like this so that it's actually stronger on top. Uh, the major failure with this, and this again shows the noobness on my of myself, is that I should have stitched it you know this way a lot of times here so it doesn't stick out. But yeah, I mean yeah, I didn't actually spend enough time on thinking about the strap itself. And yeah, the strap is polyamide, it's not, or polyamide, I have no idea how you pronounce that. In any case, this is not like proper cordura, but still, this strap is 
extra strong compared to everything else here it's gonna outlast all of the other stuff <laughs> and yeah, actually getting an eyelet through that was uh, fun of its own I actually had to drill it I've tried I actually broke like a I have an eyelet uh, thingy and it has a hole punch, I broke it and uh, I, that was a cast Zalmag or something, it, I broke it with my hands so then I tried like the steel punch for leather and a hammer, I didn't do shit, <laughs> like nothing so drilled it, put the, like squeezed the eyelet and then applied some flame just to get rid of all those extra thin strands of plastic uh, and yeah, I mean, it is working now. For more of a demo stuff, I really need my second hand. Uh, so let me try to figure out some better filming solution. I'll be right back. Okay, my better solution is a non-solution, but at least I have two hands. So the pouch, the power brick, you put the one into the other. And as you can see, it is very snug I'm very happy so yeah I've actually spent more time doing the pattern like cutting it out and marking it than sewing it which as I said it's like with soldering or using a scroll saw and uh, yeah this is mostly in the middle if you're wondering about the darkened color here yeah I tried to use uh, CA glue but it really doesn't work and as you can see the main issue is that this connection here is not as strong as it should be but overall I'm actually counting this as uh, you know this and the uh, prototype both of these you know like the work and the thinking spent on getting to this point as a project this is already going to be useful and I think very useful but for that I will actually need another shot so a free shot video nice but still let us try to appreciate it and yeah you get the display it's always visible you know it's very snug I like it all right see you again soon okay managed to put uh, something uh, quickly and haphazardly but at the very least uh, hope it will suffice so the tripod, it has some of my own mods, but uh, for the sake of this discussion, just this loop here, and uh, this is called S-Biner, because, you know, it looks like an S, that's the idea. So, with the pouch as it is, all you do is, you obviously put the eyelet on the carabiner, and it's... Uh, always less finicky when you're not on camera because you know that's how Murphy, Murphy works and as you can see it's uh, working already not particularly pretty but you can and this power bank when it's actually in use it shows the percentage all the time so which is actually good I use it for the camera now one thing to make it from this semi crappy uh, circumstance to something that's actually very very useful is this completely non-magical piece of velcro tape you know it's hooks to itself so all you do is uh, a bit of tension and look at this man it's actually not going anywhere You have access to all the ports, including the charging one, if you want to charge it for some reason in this state. But now look at this. You can just pull the thing out. I mean, this is the best thing since sliced bread. And then again, you can insert it. And that, my dear viewers, reduces the friction of actually using the thing. I had a solution where it's actually very fractal and very me being me I've hacked one of the other projects that I've done a custom shelf for this power bank for a completely different thing just to be able to hook it here this is at least a magnitude or an order of magnitude better solution so yeah sewing really useful thing 
I already have a couple of ideas uh, what to sew or at least try to sew next. Though maybe I will try to do a third version of this, you know, with the better strap attachment, just in terms of uh, practice and having a spare one. I mean, you could use it in different places, maybe, you know, everywhere where, everywhere where I need a power bank, I will have one of these, who knows? I definitely need practice, so, you know, whatever excuse I can find will probably be good. And if you want to have a peek inside, yes, yeah, stitches and markings. I like to leave my markings on the stuff I do for myself. It reminds me that, you know, I've done it, I've thought about it, I've laid out stuff. It's not uh, another crappy straight to garbage thing from China. And yeah, one of the ideas involves one of those consoles and yeah, a pouch most likely or some sort of carrier. So I will actually be having this more often on my person than I do now. So yeah. Sewing machines are cool, you should get one, you know, the more skills you have, the more interesting life gets, and <laughs> it's already interesting. So yeah, thanks for watching, see you next time. I am one handed, I cannot do it, it is impossible. <laughs>